Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a very casual, simple budget update. And I haven't updated my budget because a lot of things were happening and I feel like I always say that, but I promise you, ever since I started making these videos on my budget, things have been going like legitimately crazy with my money. If you guys stay tuned, I will talk to you guys about my October week two budget, my week three and my current week four. And as you can see, I am sitting in my living room just chilling. It's Saturday, I did some Christmas shopping. Yes, I did Christmas shopping in October. Um, I put money aside, I did put $125, and I used like half of that. <laughs> and it's totally okay because I still am saving um, next month and some of December. And I got things that, well, I got Christmas presents for the kiddos. And I got a Christmas tree for $5.50. So I'm okay with spending half the money. And I got some other stuff. I might show you, I might do a little Christmas haul. Should I do an early Christmas haul? I think that would be cute. But anyways, okay, let's get into this video because I gotta talk about three weeks. So let's get started with week two. And week two, I, yeah. <laughs> I made $533.75. Also, I had a miscellaneous job and I made $210 from that. So I made a total of $743.75. I paid $100 off my Chase Freedom credit card. I paid 20, well, I budgeted $24 for my Planet Fitness, and I actually paid $23.87. So if you did not know this, with my bills, I actually budget the dollar over what it actually is because of the fact that if when I pay it, I wanna make sure that I have enough in my account and I always have a little bit of extra. So that's just how I do it. For food, I, I budgeted $30, but I actually spent $40.49, so I was, negative well I was over ten dollars and forty nine cents for gas I budgeted thirty dollars but I actually only spent twenty five dollars and eighty nine cents making it um I had an extra five dollars and eighty nine cents for acorns I budgeted ten dollars and I actually put ten dollars um couponing I budgeted ten dollars but I went over by two dollars and sixty four cents meaning I spent twelve dollars and sixty four cents for fun money, I actually went a little crazy, but I had the kiddos with me and I don't mind spending extra money when they're around. Um, I had budgeted $10, <laughs> but I spent 80, no, I did not spend $86. I spent $60.48, making it, an, I overspent by $58.48, which isn't that bad, but still. Could have done a little bit better, but it's okay. For savings, I put away $100, um, I budgeted $100, and I put away $100. And for my Amex, I paid $140, um, I budgeted $140 as well. As for holiday, I put $125 away, and that's where I got the money to buy this Christmas stuff. And for pets, I put away $20, um, and I had budgeted $20. Though so I had two miscellaneous expenses. And one of them was $14.05 and the other one was $9.45 and those two items were home items. So with everything in total, I budgeted $599 for all my expenses, but I actually spent $689.87 plus the $23.50 making it, um, uh, I don't know. Let me see. I didn't do this math. I should have done it, but you know me. Oh, what the hell did I do? Oh, I spent $713.37, making my end balance in my account $53.88. So that's what happened. And it was actually to the T perfect because October week three, which we'll get into week three now because that was like super simple. For October week three, I only got $505.72. And my budget amount for all my bills came to $574 total. So I didn't make enough money to cover my bills. 
but with that little over um, with that money that I had made over I was able to pay my Netflix um, I paid thirteen dollars and sixty five cents and I paid for my food um, I had budgeted thirty dollars and I actually spent thirty dollars and twenty three cents so basically to the T on point and for acorns I put ten dollars away which is I always budget ten dollars per week so that actually came to fifty three dollars and eighty eight cents isn't that crazy I paid a hundred dollars on my UW credit union card I also paid fifteen dollars for my phone I paid a hundred and five dollars for my health insurance I didn't spend any money on gas which is awesome I had budgeted fifteen dollars but I had to cut out some expenses so that way I could actually have money in my account or actually pay the rest of my bills so I didn't put any gas in my car for a week and for couponing I budgeted ten dollars but I didn't spend anything I still went couponing but I just didn't spend anything oh my gosh please sit down for my American Express I budgeted a hundred dollars to pay off on it and I did I paid a hundred dollars off and I put a hundred dollars in my savings my total expenses I had budgeted $574 and I actually um, spent $545.75 and I only had one miscellaneous expense this week and the girls had a fundraiser so I donated $10 to that I also have um, I also donated an extra $10 for Gary but he'll just pay me back for that so I basically used up all my money so I had no money left over now talking about my October week 4 budget, which is the money that I just got yesterday, well I should say today. The reason why I've been so like MIA and I've just been super stressed out about this. I only made $361. My rent alone is $400, give or take. Um, and my internet's also due this week, which is $25. Luckily for my food, I really don't have to worry about it and I still have gas in my car, so... Like those two things I really don't need to worry about. But I need $425. I wanted to pay $100 on my Amex and pay that completely off this month, but I really don't think I'll be able to do it. I, I don't think it's possible. Um, and for my savings, I wanted to put $100 away, but I can't even do that. So um, with my two bills that I have this week, my total would be $425. But I only have 361, so I'm under $64. The only other thing that I can think of is taking the money from my pet fund and using that to pay for some of this. And yeah, I don't I don't know what else to do, guys. So that's where I've been. I'm kind of stuck. I will update you guys next week on my October week four. But as you guys can see, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do because I already cut out my acorns I cut out my fun and I cut out my couponing on top of that like these two my food and my gas I had luckily I have $20 cat like a $20 bill for my food and I have a $20 bill for my gas that um, I was given so I don't need to worry about those two it's just my rent my internet also the things that have been going on with my freaking money Guys, I've been super freaking stressed out. <laughs> so I had bought the cruise. You guys already know that. I already put on my credit card and when I had booked it, they had asked if I wanted insurance for it. I said I did not want insurance and they went ahead and charged my card. First of all, they charged the card that they told me did not go through. So I was, um, I was questioning, I was like, well, you guys, number, number one, you guys told me that that card wasn't going through which it should have because there was like two thousand six hundred dollars on there don't know why that wasn't going through but it did when they swiped it for the insurance and I uh, even though I said no and so I didn't realize it I booked it back in on September 26th I didn't realize it until two weeks of two Fridays ago and I was looking at my credit card and I was like wait it's saying that there's a balance on this card but I was like I know this card is paid off because I haven't used this card in like forever so I 
look at it and I look at I go I log into my account and I see that it was from the travel agency and I was like what the hell so I call them I'm telling them like hey I don't I didn't make this charge you guys like charge my card without telling me and they're like um, I was like I don't care if you guys have to listen to the conversation I denied that that um, the insurance twice so anyways long story short um, they they heard that I denied it twice, so they had to give me my, my my money back. However, the card that was being used, there was a bill due f for it, like in a couple days. And I told them I was like, if I pay this minimum payment of twenty five dollars, I'm out of money twenty five dollars because this card I specifically cannot use that in stores or I cannot use um, anywhere. Really, I can't. It's like a furniture card store, and I don't know why I had that. I was probably going crazy, um, but yeah. So I ended up telling them like I'm gonna be out twenty five dollars, and then like that's it doesn't seem like I'm a lot of money for you guys. I was like, you guys can either give me my money back on a credit card, or on a on a, in a check, or you guys can do something. But I need my money back so that way I'm able to. Um, pay that off myself and they couldn't do anything about it. I was going back and forth. So Legitimately, I was on the phone with them until like 7 o'clock at night. I kid you not and I think I was on the phone with them for like two hours Yeah, it was insane. I even called Gary and I was like, dude, I am so freaking stressed out about this It's not even funny because like they literally messed up my money and My credit score went down like 30 points. Why? I don't know but I haven't been using my credit cards. I don't know what was going on. So anyways, I just gave up and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna dispute it with the credit card company. So I called them up and I told them what was going on and I made the claim for the dispute and they actually, they approved it because today I looked at it and it's completely gone. So that makes me really happy. Now I just gotta figure out why the hell my credit score went down 30 points. So, yeah, I don't know. There's no, there's no other thing on my credit history that, like, could make it go down that drastically unless $155, like, really makes that much of a difference. So, yeah. <laughs> um, that's been my October so far. What else? So, yeah, I haven't made money. They overcharged me. My credit score went down. It's been a shit show. It really has. And so I'm hoping that at least I can um, pay Gary. Well, I already talked to Gary, and he said that I can give him $200 for rent and then um, pay another $200 or whatever the remaining balance is when I get paid again. So luckily, I don't have to worry about the rent coming out of my account because it goes out of his, and I just pay him. But still, that's like a hundred. It's like $200 that I won't have. In November to put towards something else if that makes any sense so I'm kind of upset about that but it is what it is I know my job that's just how it is it also oh my gosh I didn't even tell you guys did I not update you guys on this last week I paid for health insurance and dental insurance for the very first time I feel like such an adult yeah so Mind you guys, I don't make a lot of money. I can tell you guys right now, and I'm going to be 100% honest, I've only made $14,000 this year. Yeah. And a thousand of, of I've actually made 15000 but a thousand of that was from income taxes that I received. I, mean, I didn't work half of January, and I didn't work almost two months this summer. So, yeah. And then... Like I said, my weeks fluctuate depending on um, like how they need me. So I get government assistance with my health care. And so I only pay $71.87 for my health, my health and my dental. I just wanted to tell you guys that as an update as well. So it's been a little crazy. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. It helps me a lot. I love making these videos for you guys because I just feel like I'm not alone in this situation because I honestly sometimes feel like I'm in a deep hole that I can't get out of because there's so many things um, that are stopping me from 
going further with my money. But anyways, like I said, I gotta go. I'll, I'm actually gonna film a haul now. Talk to you guys later. Bye.